use these things forever. They're like gold right now. What is up, interwebs? Welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to my channel. I uh, was uh, going to do a little bit of a vlog video, which uh, sounded boring to me, which would probably be even extra boring to the three of you that watch these videos. So I'm going to spare you that. But I got the old uh, Delta table saw out. Well, it's not really old. It's new. I was going to do a review on it, but uh, I haven't even used it that much. Anyway, my daughter wants a nightstand built for next to her bed. And uh, I figured that would be a good opportunity for me to cobble together a uh, crosscut sled. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not exactly much of a woodworker. Uh, but I figured that this would be a decent project to make most all the cuts on the table saw. Obviously I've already put it together. I kind of did this in haste. Uh, it was actually last night, so I didn't make a video or anything. But I'll go through it real quick. It's uh, just scrap 3 8 uh, like BC plywood that I had. Um, I put the better side down. I figured it would be a little smoother for sliding across the top of the table. Uh, cut a couple rips of three-quarter plywood also. Everything everything I made this out of is scrap. Um, so what I did was cut the rips. Put the rips in the miter channels here. I had put a little bit of glue on the three-quarter pieces put the 3 8 down, put some little screws in to hold it. That gave me my base. Uh, let that set up for a little bit. Then I added this 2x6 on the back. Now this I just kind of squared up to the back piece of the plywood because it doesn't matter, it's just to hold the whole thing together. So once I had that all together I raised the blade up and then I just slowly ran it through uh, till about here. Then I just took a framing square, set it up against the blade marked with a pencil, like that. Up against the blade on the other side, marked with a pencil, like so. That gave me what I am presuming is a 90 degree to the blade. I then took this piece, which was also scrap, but it was also good. It's a inch or inch and a inch and an eighth thick clear pine. Nice and straight. Put it on my line. Ran some screws in it. And then I just uh, fed it the rest of the way through, like that. So it's a pretty simple design, terribly utilitarian, uh, very, uh, you know, my uh, preliminary beta test of making a crosscut sled. So now we have to test it got a chunk of MDF that I kind of hacked up in some random uh, angles and we'll run this through a few times and see how square it is. Okay, I'm pretty well uh, set up here and here is my piece. Uh, I'm going to run my first cut with this up against the fence here. Uh, let me get geared up, uh, get my hearing protection going and a uh, mask because I'm cutting MDF and that stuff sucks to cut. Uh, and we'll run a few rips, check it with a square and see if I succeeded ish or completely failed. I'm just aiming for succeeding ish will be good enough for me.
not terribly bad. Just over 17 inches. Just about 17 inches. It cuts pretty square. I'm going to run this a couple more times as a test. Maybe I'll run it uh, biased to the left side and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, for some reason, I make three cuts that stay pretty good. By the time I get to that fourth cut, it's quite a ways off. One would think you would see it get gradually off per cut, not happen all at once. So, more brainstorming needs to be had. Give it a go in a different uh, order one more time here did it with the blade taller on the last one to see if I could see how square it was running but we're gonna drop the blade back down so I don't completely injure myself I use these things forever they're like gold right now so I referenced, I did a one, a two, a three, and a four, and if I worked my way around making cuts, uh, the fourth cut was always off. So I started with this as my baseline cut, cut this one, but I shifted to the other side to cut this one, and then referenced this cut off of one of these, and it came a lot closer. So I'm thinking it's just tweaked minutely um, but it's prototype and I think if I'm working with something that's mostly square to begin with and I'm just trying to make a cross cut it's not that big a deal uh, but for the chunk of wood that this was to be well MDF that this was to begin with it squared up pretty pretty well uh, I don't know there's a lot of other videos on YouTube of people that know what they're doing <laughs> making these sleds um, and yeah, I don't have the attention span for that right now. I'm not set up for uh, a woodworking shop. This is a DIY channel, not, not a woodworking channel. You want to see woodworking, go check out The Handyman or uh, Woodworking for Mere Mortals or uh, go check out Grant Alexander. He's got a good one. He, he does some cool stuff. I mean, he, he whittled a spoon the other day. That's pretty pretty focused. I can't focus like that. Uh, anyway, this is good enough. I might throw this video together. You guys can tell me uh, what I'm doing wrong with this and then I can maybe tweak it per your suggestion. So leave a comment down below, please. Uh, if you find uh, a guy that's doing haphazard things haphazardly in his uh, haphazard garage, uh, subscribe because there will be more. So, okay guys, next project is my daughter's nightstand, which I plan on laying out parts for that this evening. So maybe, you know, you know how I function, maybe in the next three or four weeks you'll see a video for that. Alright, see you later.